Yo, this was a fantastic film. You want to check it out. That's all I got to say. Time to get into the review of the new film, The Twin. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Twin which is coming to Shutter May 6th. This film was fantastic. I loved it in and out. There may be little plot holes and whatnots that folks are going to really try to dig out and be very particular about and what but this film was really good. I really enjoyed it. The plot, the execution, um, the atmospheric core, um, just the psychological aspect of it as well and then the real life like realism of the horror within it as well um there's a there's a lot and then the, the acting um Teresa Palmer plays our main character uh Rachel um alongside of Stephen Cree who plays her husband Anthony so up and down the board I thought you know the the production the plot the acting um the horror elements um the twist and the execution of it all really, really worked. So, with this film, Rachel, um, she has just suffered a tragedy. The death of her son, who was killed in a car accident. Um, and her son is a twin, her son Nathan. Uh, so her surviving son, Elliot, um, is still there. And this is a huge tragedy for her. And to kind of mitigate this whole scenario to kind of take a step forward and try to like get back on track and 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 and, and, and focus on healing well her husband anthony says we're going to move to the other side of the world we got some insurance money and whatnot let's let's try to start over um and then you know in doing so they get this very gigantic house that clearly looks like any other regular traditional house that is hunted um but it still is a big learning curve for her. You know, this new town that they're in and getting acclimated with the town folks and whatnot. Uh, Elliot is still kind of suffering himself, um, you know, asking about his twin brother, Nathan, at times. And it's just a, 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 an enormous amount of pressure on Rachel trying to figure this all out. But with that, she's also in full mom mode where she thinks something's up with Elliot because he's acting different and you know ever since a party that they attended you know he's now claiming that he's Nathan so there seems to be some type of demonic transformation or something going on ever since they went to this party where she met this one town lady who started to kind of chime in her own uh, you know input about what's happening her own ses assessment of what's happening with her son but yeah, like I said, everything's acting strange. And, you know, beyond that, there's just issue after other issue. Because in this house, too, you know, she's hearing things. Um, you know, all sorts of just things that just aren't normal. Uh, and, and quite frankly, she's trying to decipher if she's imagining these things or not, what's real. And in order for her to kind of save her son, she kind of has to trust her mother's instincts. Um, if she really wants to, you know, protect him. And at the same time still battling survivors were more so like it's a lot of things kind of going on all with her at once then you kind of look over at her husband and you're like well what's up with you and he's kind of caught in the in the crosshairs because like he's trying to navigate and and providing clarity to rachel but at the same time to you know trying to still be there for his son but ultimately i think he's just kind of gaslighting the entire time like that's just my whole thing but among like with the conversations especially with the one lady that they have in the town you know she starts to give clues about what is up with this town what's up with this house why is everything so strange and she says everything's so connected everything's connected in a circular fashion and when you start saying circular you know we're going to start talking about demonic symbols and whatnot and that brings us to like the devil trap and how does that apply to what's going on because she is convinced that rachel's convinced that you know her son may be either trying to connect with her or there may be a swap of some sort but there's something definitely happening and even at the party her uh, her son elliot had made a wish 
for his brother, but he quite didn't get what he want as the lady explained that, well, she he wanted his brother, but he got something else. And we all know what that something else is. I already mentioned it, right? Um, and that's something else that he asked for once Elliot and will stop at nothing to have him. So with that, this film is chilling, the sound, there's jump scares, you know, the whole shebang, all those sorts of different things. You got this sat satanic chant that's really chilling as well. Um, there is implied gore, but more or less, I think this film functions highly on it, the psychological aspect of it because you're trying to decipher what's up with the town, what's up with the town folks, what's up with Rachel, is she imagining these things? Are these things really happening? what's happening with Elliot and this strange sort of personality that he's now taken upon. Um, and you're trying to figure all these things out all at once, you know? Uh, and, 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 and and as the films get deeper and deeper, I feel like a lot of these sort of elements kind of enhance, ultimately getting to the conclusion of this film where you start to focus on, well, how did this all wrap up? And I gotta say like the plot revelation is super solid and it's real. Because I told you, like, there's a realistic aspect of horror in this. And, you know, that will make you question everything about the film. Like, don't get me wrong. I watched this film, but I'm definitely throwing you for some major curves. Because once you watch this film, you're probably going to want to watch it again. Because of just how things conclude, it literally makes you question everything. Everything. And... I'll give you a little hint here. If you've been watching Moon Knight on Disney+, Plus, especially episode five, you will see a connection with characters on there and what Rachel is going through here. And I would also even kind of say if you watch WandaVision on Disney+, Plus, there's also sort of a connection. And these connections are in terms of mental health and trauma, trauma response, shall I add. And I gotta say, like, it does hit the feels. Like, the execution is so good. It's a fantastic film. The performances, the plot, the execution, all of it just really comes together very good. I will highly recommend this film. This has been one of my favorite films this year, um, just because I felt like it was a solid film. It was two hours, didn't feel like it, um, but it had a lot of good moments in this film. Um, and I really don't have any complaints. I think folks will probably try to find you know, some plot holes and whatnot, but I think for just enjoying the film and just trying to solve what's kind of going on with some of these characters, I think that's just good enough. Don't look for like discrepancies because I'm almost sure going back and watch, especially how things kind of unravel that you're going to kind of go back and say, well, that didn't make sense or whatnot. It could be there, it could not be there. I'm not, not sure. I'm just saying from my first watch and just the impression that it left on me, this was a fantastic film. I enjoyed this one. So check it out. It's The Twin. It again coming on Shutter May 6th. Don't want to miss out on this one. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this film. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.